wasn't for this week's video. Uh, I'm still in North Yorkshire and I'm at the lovely seaside side town of Whitby, um, famous for its abbey, some fantastic fish and chips and uh, its connection to Dracula. Uh, and over my shoulder you should see I'm on one of the uh, harbour walls and one of the, I'm going to head out onto one of the breakwaters. Uh, this is the East Pier. Uh, I've been here before, I did uh, about, well I tried to get a sunset but I was a little bit too late and ended up doing a little bit of night vlogging. So that's the plan, we're going to walk along here and uh, yeah, got these lovely old wooden boardwalks. Uh, we're going to see what we can make of the place. If I just spin you around, while I've got you, on my shoulder now, you should be able to see Saltwick Nab. Yeah, that's the uh, entrance to Saltwick Bay. So if you stick around till next week, that's going to be next week's video. We're going to go see if we can uh, get some nice shots of the shipwreck of the Admiral Von Tromp. So yeah, that's next week. Uh, but this week, yep, let's get out on this pier and let's see if we can get a bit of a sunset. I've just had a, a nice chat with a, a couple of people, a, a brother and sister called William and I think it was Kay or Kate. Apologies for getting your name wrong. Uh, I've got a terrible memory for names. In fact, it's only two minutes since I spoke to you. I'm just looking over, over the, behind the camera and I can still see you. So it's, it's literally just a couple of minutes ago. So yeah, um, there's a few more people on the pier. So we're just waiting for them to go. And uh, well, it does look like we're going to get a little bit of colour. Um, cer certainly better colour than we got this morning for sunrise. So. Right, so I think the issue with this pier is uh, the curve, which is a blessing and a curse, really. Um, it's an interest in the curve, and, it, and you really want to, it feels like you really need to make it part of your composition. But uh, yeah, it lends itself to that symmetry, so it does make it tricky. Um, I've tried taking shots up high, uh, getting the horizon so, it's, um, uh, so it doesn't sort of foul with this, this parapet with, it, with this uh, railing uh, over my shoulder. And then uh, I've tried taking some, shot, some shots low. Um, what I'm doing lastly is uh, I'm going really low. I've literally got the camera on the ground, um, trying to make the most of that texture of the wood. Um, spin you around and show you what I mean. So what I've got these uh, these rusty old bolts in the side of the in the side of the, the woodwork. The actual main deck looks like it's been replaced. It looks like a, uh, a much newer newer timber, although it's still itself suffering from rot. Um, but these rusty rusty bolts just uh, have a bit of an appeal to me. So I've got my camera right up against that side wall, right up against that, that like sleepers, like railway sleepers, big chunky pieces of timber. I've got one of the bolts in the foreground and then the rail's curving round and then it's going off to that, uh, that I don't know if it's a lighthouse, light tower, beacon, I don't really know what you what you call it. I'm sure somebody, somebody with some maritime knowledge, uh, you might be able to comment down below because I've absolutely no idea what you call these things. Um, that's the shot I've got. Um, <laughs> I always keep saying that I'm having a focus stack, but in this instance, honestly, that bolt is about five inches, four inches away from front of my camera. I'm not even convinced my camera's going to be able to focus that close, but we'll give it a go. Um, focus stack off to infinity, off to that, that tower, and uh, piece it together. Let's see how that image looks. Here it comes now. Right then, uh, we've lost the light, uh, sunset's over, so uh, yeah, I'll we'll wrap this video up. Um, I hope that composition worked uh, with a low angle. I'm not sure if it has or not, you'll have seen the, the picture by now, so yeah, if you've seen the image and, and uh, you feel uh, like commenting, yeah, please do so below. Um, so yeah, I'll wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, give that bell a bit of a nudge, it really helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, until next time, from Whitby. I'll be seeing you.